Hi everyone. The graph coloring is one of the process to assign the colors to each and every vertices available in the given graph G. So graph is having set of edges and vertices. Here each and every vertex should be assigned with some colors. The one of the criteria is here the adjacent vertices should not have the same color. For example, if the edge uh, edge between the 1 and 2 uh, is there. Here the vertex 1 is having the green color. Then 1 is having 2 adjacent vertices uh, 3 and 2. These 2 vertices should not have the same color green. So we have to assign some different color to the adjacent vertices and the objective of this graph coloring is we have to minimize the number of colors while assigning the colors to each and every vertex in the given graph so here we are we have used five colors for the five different vertices in the given graph but we should minimize the number of colors by assigning different colors to this adjacent vertices of the given graph the chromatic number is here the smallest number of colors we have used to assign to all the vertices in the given graph so the chromatic number is used to define the minimum number of colors assigned to the given graph and also the graph coloring problem is the non-deterministic polynomial complete problem that is NP complete problem. So we can find the solution for the given graph. The applications of the uh, graph coloring is here uh, register allocation and uh, uh, map coloring for example uh, India map, world map, district wise for the state map. So uh, here the bipartite graph, bipartite graph will have set of uh, two uh, set of vertices so for this two set of vertices we can assign different colors for the one set and another set and mobile radio frequency to know the frequency of that uh, uh, radio frequency we can assign some different colors to differentiate the frequency and uh, job assignment problem scheduling the task sudoku so here per, for preparing the timetable also we can use the graph coloring by assigning different colors to the each and every uh, uh, slots or periods and conflict resolution here uh, when we are uh, assigning the colors we have to start from any vertex randomly so here given given graph is having uh, four vertices a b c d all are connected here uh, we will start from the a the given number of colors are two red and green we have to apply the color to that selected vertex so now for the a if we are selecting uh, two possibilities are there so this is the starting vertex so starting vertex we are selecting the a so here when you are selecting the a a may be assigned with first color red or another possibility is we can assign with green and uh, now we have to confirm whether it is valid color to this current vertex with the current color because we, we, if there is any other vertices available earlier we have to check that two adjacent vertices should not have same color so here no other adjacent vertices to the a as of now is this is the first vertex we have started so we can apply with a uh, red color or green color now we will go with the red color so after assigning the red color we have to move to the uh, next vertex okay so this is valid color so we have assigned now we have to check for all the vertices so here uh, the adjacent vertex for the uh, a is two options are there one is the uh, here b and another one is we are having the uh, d so now we will select the b so again b can be assigned with red color or another one is here we can go with the green color here we have to check again uh, uh, either this uh, color is valid color or not so you, here uh, already the red color is there for the a again we are giving the red color to the adjacent vertex b so as per the criteria 
the adjacent vertices should not have the same color so this is not valid color for the b then we have to go for another possibility green color so we have to apply to the b is a green color so that's what we have done here now again we have to identify what are the another possibility for the from the b so from the b we are having two adjacent vertices uh, a and c but a is already visited here colored so now we are have the possibility is c so c with again we are having two possibilities one is the red color and another one is the green color so now again we have to check uh, g uh, from the b this is the b so from the b uh, b is green color and c is applying the red color so it is uh, not having the same color and also c is having the d so the adjacent vertices are having different colors still it is not applied any color okay so now uh, this is valid color so we can go ahead at the same time when you are looking this direction b is supplied with green color here c is also we are applying the green color but this is invalid color so when you when it is invalid color we have to uh, backtrack it okay so that is the thing so now uh, the c is supplied with the red color so that's we have done again we have to go from the c so c is having again uh, uh, two possibilities one is the b and another one is the d so b is already we have explored that means we have applied the color now we are going for d so from the for the d we can go for again two colors one is red color and another one is green color so now we have to check d is having uh, uh, how many adjacent vertices one is a and another one is c so here a is already applied with red color uh, here c is applied with the here uh, red color so the red color is not possible for the vertex d so now we have to go for another option green color so green color is here uh, checked with adjacent vertex c is having red color so it is valid at the same time we have to check with the a so a is here applied with the red color so in this place so uh, d is applied with now uh, current color g so green is valid so now we can apply the color uh, with color green with the d so we have to do this again and again until color uh, coloring the all the vertices okay so uh, if colors are not sufficient no other color is available for applying the uh, vertex then we have to backtrack it and currently whatever we have colored that we have to uncolor that that means we have to remove the color on that particular vertex which is applied currently so this is about the backtracking method for graph coloring algorithm thanks for watching